Hello friends, welcome to the channel Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today we will start CBSC Physics Grade 10 Chapter 10 Light Part 1. That's spherical mirrors. We have completed the chapter light of grade 8. And if anybody have any doubt in the previous portion, you can refer those uh, chapters, those videos. I'll give the link below this. Before starting the lesson, if anyone did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe it. Then only you will get notification whenever I upload the lessons. So today's content is spherical mirrors, how to identify concave and convex mirrors, pole, center of curvature, radius of curvature and principal axis of a mirror. What are spherical mirrors? Mirrors which are the part of a sphere are called spherical mirrors. Spherical mirror is obtained by taking a part of a hollow sphere, a part of a hollow sphere of glass or metal. Like you cut a small piece out of lemon. For a cherry piece cut a lengi nirikum. Adbola ne or glass one dollar hollow sphere, polea or sphere in the or cherry piece cut a dal, other irikan spherical mirror and shape. So once again we can define definition of spherical mirrors is mirrors which are the part of a sphere are called spherical mirrors. Here we are studying about concave and convex mirrors. These mirrors can be compared with a spoon. Take a spoon and look at the image formed at the inner side of the spoon also at the outer side of the spoon. About the image formation we are studying in detail later. Now look at the surface of the spoon. The surface of the spoon curved inwards can be approximated to a concave mirror and the surface curved outwards behave like a convex mirror. For a spoon at the noku, Adindi Ulpagatum Pora Pagatan Ink under the Ram image and Ninka Kana Batana under the Rathilola Pradibamba Ninka Kana Batu. Ingalda Mogatin to the Ner and the Rathola Pradibamba. Adila Ulpagate concave maritum, Pora Pate convex maritum, Namka compare. Now, how to identify concave and convex mirrors? Concave mirror actually it is curved inwards. Its center part is curved like a cave. It also forms real and virtual images. Depending on the distance between the object and the mirror, it can form different types of images. For long distance, uh, it can make real images, whereas short distances, it can make virtual images. Concave mirror, only like a cave, polar guha, polar agate, valanya shape, irigan, concave mirror. This is a virtual image, real image, and type images of form GM. But you can see that real and virtual images, real images can be formed on a screen. We can see that screen is a real image. We can see that real image is a real image. We can see that real image is a real image. Or if we cannot get it on a screen, that is called virtual image. That is why we have to use the Convex mirror always forms small, erect and virtual images. You must have seen at the sides of the vehicle, there is a rear view mirror. That is convex mirror in which small images are seen. Convex mirror is always curved outwards. Find a smooth surface. Convex mirror is Convex mirror is always curved outwards. Find a smooth surface. Convex mirror is Convex mirror is always curved outwards. Find a smooth image is formed on convex mirror. Now everybody studied how to identify convex and concave mirrors, right? 
Now, definition and schematic representation of concave and convex mirrors. Definition, concave mirror, if the reflecting surface is like a cave, it is called concave mirror. So, its inside part will be smooth and the outside will be rough. That's why in the schematic representation, the first one, the outer side, we draw some uh, broken lines to show the rough surface. And convex mirror, if the reflecting surface is curved outwards, it is called convex mirror. So in uh, representation, we draw the broken lines in the inner side because outer side is smooth. So these diagrams are very important. You have to draw and practice. Okay. Some important terms of spherical mirrors. That is pole, center of curvature, radius of curvature and principal axis. These four terms we will study next. First one is pole of the mirror. The center point of the reflecting surface of the mirror is called pole of the mirror. It is shown as the letter P in this diagram. It lies on the surface of the mirror. Center point of the mirror is called pole of the mirror. Okay. And it is on the reflecting surface of the mirror. In this diagram, you can see a concave mirror as well as a convex mirror. Both are the part of a sphere. But for convex mirror, its outer side is uh, smoothened and concave mirror, the inner side is smoothened. Here the dark, the black color shows the smooth surface of the mirrors. And the center of the sphere of which the mirrors are the part is called the center of curvature. The letter C shows the center of curvature of the mirror. Here, both the mirrors have the same center of curvature. So, for convex mirror, it is at the back side of the smooth surface, whereas for the concave mirror, it is in the front side of the smooth surface. In this picture, there are two mirrors. One is a concave mirror and one is a convex mirror. Concave mirror in the inside part is smooth title, whereas for convex mirror the outside is very smooth. If it is black color which is smooth surface, it is in the This is the sphere. This is the sphere. the sphere. This is the center of curvature. This is the letter C. This is the center of curvature. This is the picture. the one sphere in the part and armor is a sphere complete. The center is the center of curvature. The pole is the pole of the mirror. The mirror is a piece of mirror. The piece in the center is the pole of the mirror. That's right. The definition the center of curvature and the definition of the center of curvature is the center of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. It lies outside the reflecting surface. Reflecting surface in the touch in the last reflecting surface in a porous tight or imaginary as sphere name. I'm imagine chaining lies in the center aricum center of curvature. As you learned in center of curvature, radius of curvature is also the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. Here it represents CA. For the concave mirror, CA is the radius of curvature. For the convex mirror, also the same because both the mirrors are the part of the same sphere. Or a sphere under part I under and the radius of curvature is the same area. Radius of this sphere. A this sphere and the part and no mirror. A sphere and the radius are the radius of curvature. If it is C A and then represent A. Once again, the definition radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere of which mirror is a part. Principal axis. The straight line passing through the pole and center of curvature of a mirror is called principal axis. In the Kanam diagram, P M C M would touch either a straight line where a canangular other iricum a mirror in the principal axis. So once again, uh, 
uh, straight line passing through the pole and center of curvature of a sphere or spherical mirror is called principal axis. It is normal to the mirror at the pole. That is very important. At the pole, it is normal to the uh, mirror. Next two topics are focus and focal length of the mirrors and ray diagrams. Surely there will be a 5 mark question from all this chapter. Minimum 5 mark will be there. So I will give you easy tips to draw uh, ray diagrams, how to complete ray diagrams and all. Before that, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so that you will not miss out the topics. Now, summary is the same as what I explained to you before. So, uh, these sentences in, given in the summary, you have to by heart it. That is the same thing. By heart, take a look at this summary. Fill up questions, definitions, short answer questions. So, without forgetting, do that. So, once again, subscribe and study well. All the best. Thank you.